Now we have come to one of the most beautiful and profound aspects of this universal cosmic language called sacred geometry, the golden mean. I've been making art directly related to this universal principle for over 20 years. It's so deep, so rich, so multifaceted. There are so many words and numbers and forms which are correspondent to this reality. It can get confusing. So where do we begin? Where do we begin? Is there one word that can sum this whole mystery up? Yes, there is, actually. Proportion is the word. Proportion. The golden mean is all about proportion. The incredibly important proportion of one by 1.618 dot 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 all the way to infinity. So what's the big deal? It's just a rectangle, right? Wrong. Of all the rectangles in this universe, of all the infinite number of rectangular possibilities in this universe, this one stands alone and is totally spectacular. So check this out. If we put a square over one end of this horizontal golden mean rectangle, we get another smaller and vertical golden mean rectangle. And if we put another square in that one, that's right, we get another horizontal golden mean rectangle. And so on and on and on it goes, ratcheting all the way into infinity and back out to infinity. Wow. So now we can begin to see that this golden mean rectangle is actually a fantastic spiraling fractal, perhaps the fractal, spinning all the way into infinity, back out to infinity. Incredible. It's also definitely a major building block of the universe. And that's why the golden mean is also known as the divine proportion. This painting illustrates the ratcheting fractal qualities of the golden mean rectangle. In addition, it illustrates the golden mean spiral, also known as the phi spiral. So we can begin to see that this divine proportion can be seen from multiple points of view. On the one hand, you could see the golden mean as pure mathematics which results in this long string, this infinite string of numbers called phi. Phi is a so-called irrational number, also known as a transcendental number, which can never be resolved and continues to infinity. And from another point of view, the divine proportion can also be seen as pure sacred geometric forms known as the golden mean rectangle and the golden mean spiral. And just like the number phi, both the golden mean rectangle and spiral are irrational transcendental forms which naturally expand and contract into infinity. So this brings us to another really interesting part of this whole golden mean proportion thing. And that's the geometric formula which creates the golden mean proportion. It's so simple, so incredibly simple. Anybody could make a golden mean proportion with a couple of sticks and some string in the dirt. No problem, easy. All of the most beautiful things in this universe are so simple. This is one of them. Here's the way it works. The geometric formula for creating the golden mean proportion begins with a square. First, we divide the baseline of our square in half, and that midpoint becomes the center of a circular arc which will bisect the top two corners of our square. 
Next, we extend the baseline of our square until it bisects the arc of our circle. And when we measure the new length of the extended baseline and compare it with the length of our original baseline, we get the number phi. And we have also created the golden mean rectangle and the divine proportion. This geometric formula for creating the golden mean proportion shows up in my work from time to time, like this one. This is an example. This is actually four of these formulas, all ratcheted around one another. It's so beautiful, this golden mean, this divine proportion. It's all around us, in us, and we don't even see it. Very beautiful, very mysterious. This painting behind me, this mandala behind me, some of you probably will recognize it. It was from a video piece I did a few months back called Sacred Geometry, The Map of Time. So I went on and on about this mandala. I talked about the construction of mandalas and the healing aspects of making mandalas and all kinds of things. But I didn't talk about the fact that this proportions of this mandala are in the golden mean and that the composition of the mandala, the center of the mandala, is actually related, empirically related to the transcendental golden mean rectangle. So this is the way that we should probably think about sacred geometry in general. This is an layers and layers and layers of the these principles on top of one another. We don't see them all, that at first, but they're there. They're in there and they're working. The golden mean is at the heart of everything. When you can see this golden mean at the root of the entire universe, which it is, you start seeing it all over the place. The whole universe is spiraling in this golden mean proportion, this divine proportion. It's beautiful. It's all over the place. All over the place. For me, these perfectly beautiful, integrated, and omnipresent principles of the universe point straight to an intelligent, conceptual consciousness at the very core of this universe, this all. From my perspective, I see these timeless, unchanging principles springing directly from God-mind, the mind of the all. Numerous celebrated philosophers throughout the ages have come to the same basic conclusion. The Hermetic axiom reads, The all is mind, the universe is mental.